I thought it was a great win against a <clears throat> very well coached team. Coach Stevens just does an outstanding job with those guys. So much, so much respect uh, for the way he gets his guys to play. Knew they were going to be prepared uh, for us, and I knew they would play hard. Um, so nervous all day because I, I you know, just have a lot of respect uh, for the jobs he does. Uh, you know, we, we were fortunate. Uh, we did a pretty good job on, on Beverly, who's, you know, one of the top two or three players in our league. Uh, uh, we were able to, to, uh, to, to play good defense on him uh, early, and then he got in foul trouble, which really helped us. Uh, and uh, getting him out of the game in foul trouble, uh, we didn't hold him scoreless because of our great defense. We, you know, he, he, he was held scoreless just because he didn't get a chance to play and get in a rhythm. Um, but I, I did think when, when he was in there early, I thought we did a pretty good job uh, on the things. But I'm sure if he'd have played more minutes, he would have adjusted and, and, and did fine. But uh, um, And then Jace Anderson for them. I mean, that kid is just tough as nails uh, coming off a, uh, an ACL injury. I don't think he barely practices. And, and he just single-handedly willed them into the game there in the second half. And, um, just the utmost respect uh, for their program. Um, you know, our, our guys uh, answered the bell. Uh, you know, we turned the ball over a few too many times. Um, a lot of that uh, because of, uh, of what Billings did. Um, but we took care of some of the things that you can take care of when, when things aren't going. We re rebounded the ball at a high level again. Um, 17 offensive rebounds and, uh, you know, held them to eight. Uh, we, we had a bunch of guys rebound, Spence and, and Suki and, and Corey, of course. Um, and then our, our, our two-point defense was exceptional tonight. I thought we did a really good job uh, on our two-point defense, uh, which was probably why we gave up a few a few threes um, because, uh, uh, you know, you, a team like that who executes, it's hard to take everything away. And uh, uh, eight, eight for 31 from two for them. And... Uh, you know, I, I thought that Connor holding down the back line uh, was big, and, and for the most part, we kept people in front of us and, and made them take tough shots. But uh, high-level basketball game in February. Uh, a lot of respect for that club, but uh, very proud of, of our team uh, for coming in and, and uh, meeting the challenge and uh, and putting one more in the win column. Uh, like Coach said, they were shooting uh, pretty well from three, but we were uh, we were handling them in their two-point shots. So. We just had to make a couple adjustments, and, and Coach helped us out on timeouts and huddles, making adjustments just to, uh, you know, just to kind of corral them on the three-point line and, and make, make sure we had a high hand. And you know, picking up in transition that was big because they hit a couple transition threes on us and we weren't matched up properly. So, you know, those runs are going to happen, uh, especially against good teams, well-coached team like Montana State Billings. So you just got to take it, uh, keep looking forward, and like you said, just you know, keep them from doing whatever they did to make the run. Uh, kind of like Coach said, it's it's. Uh, I think we do a great job of taking it game by game. You know, we're not we're not in there talking about streaks. We're not in there talking about you know who's beaten who, stuff like that. We're in there talking about you know the next game we have, whether it's Thursday or Saturday. You know, we're just in there talking about our opponent. We're discussing you know what happened at practice that day. If there's things that we need to work on, if there's things that we need to clear up. So I think uh, the one of the reasons we've had um, success lately is uh, we've just been taking it game by game and opponent by opponent.